This new Praxis arc is feeling almost season 4 Damachi-esque. Most likely because there's a whole theme of dungeons and looching to these lower floors beyond what we should have expected, just like what happened in Season 4. And I love the entire threat, the dangers. I can feel like we're actually in deep shit. Everyone has been uh, separated into teams of two. Eliana, sorry, uh, 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 fucking Liana and Colette, they're paired up, so that's gonna be nice. Julius and Xion will be hilarious, but we're with Wignall right now, and it turns out he is basically us if we if it went like a bad route. His the thing that he's chasing is the elf queen. They used to be child of friends, but it seems like he was also a laggard. He has like no talent. His arm got chopped off, and he was basically excommunicated, but he still chases after the princess. And I think that in the beginning he was very crude, very not crude, very elite and very elegant, but very racist, saying, Don't touch me. But he, he he really did like correct himself immediately. In the span of one episode, he went through a whole fucking cycle of development. He realizes why he shit and he looks at how amazing Will is in the face of this kind of danger and how much he's clutching. So I think there can be a beautiful friendship that's going to happen here. Let's begin today's reaction. <laughs> Wignall backstory? <laughs> Eleanor is the princess. Or the elf queen, I don't know. Is that supposed to represent Eleanor? No! His love for Eleanor disappearing! Hmm. I think that proved that Will was watching, right? That's literally Will's ahoge. His hair? So, Will has already ex witnessed Wignall trying really hard in training at night. It seems like it. No, I'm here too, bro. Maybe of the elves. Oh, I see. I see. Damn. I thought he was Mr. Special, but then I realized there aren't really any other elves down here. So every elf is so talented, they've already ascended, and he's the only one stuck here that- And it was such at a young age too, because they like outcasted him when they were roughly young, so everyone has already ascended. Damn. That kind of feels bad, man. That makes a lot more sense of like, why he has no talent. Okay. It's not actually real. Interesting. Supposed to be illusion magic that turns into real things, but he can't do that. So that's his defect. But I'm sure there's like a clever way that we can use this in our favor that's even better. Yeah. What do you think that means? If he is considered top three, that literally means you guys are that trash too. <laughs> it does. Like... It it does. If like the the standard, right? It's everything is relative. And if Wignall is considered trash because every other elf is so much better and ascended, you guys are all fucking trash. Just wrestling in the mud here. I'm sorry. Or leftovers. Liana's correct. Mm. そんな the true talent? Elfie! Elfie! Okay. Yeah. Damn. What the hell is a milk sibling? I don't know. But okay, keep going. Milk sibling, though. That's her. But sh skill issue, she got way stronger. Wow, so cool, Wignall. 
and then she's gonna create a typhoon. If if he can just create a little updraft of wind here, what's Eleanor gonna do? Uh oh. Oh no more you screed us hodono. Idainaru high elf that Creek Kingswood. Wait, she just like did an updraft of current with leaves. She just created this tree with this magic randomly. That's what it is. Kingswood. She just made this just now. What? A high elf. And then got separated because she's too talented and you're talentless. Mm. No, I think that the Kingswood thing, the making, it's a little um ambiguous because obviously we see an updraft of magic and then suddenly we see a tree. But I think this could simply be something she created in the future, just to highlight how strong and how talented she really is. And here it was nothing but just simple wind. Like it seems kind of weird that the tree showed up immediately, but I could totally interpret this as like this is a future event and this is just kind of to show how strong how naturally talented she is, but regardless, she created the Kingswood thing. But he's a very aware. He's very aware of himself, so it's like he's already corrected. They do have a lot in common. Wow, Will, so nice and kind. That's interesting, though, huh? Both parties right now. Liana and Wignall both just like so depressed and sad that skill issue. And then you have Colette and Will to just kind of support them, be like, everything is good. I wonder what's happening with Julius and Shion, though. Because you know they're definitely not having these kind of conversations. <laughs> she saw Will in the eyes, that's right. Liana has Will in the eyes, even though she's looking. Actually, is that Colette talking? I can't tell because her hair is so fucking similar. I think this is Liana, though. Okay. Alright, strong monsters. Because he's bullshit character. Practical experience, baby. It's just crazy. Just the stark difference of animation. And this isn't even like Wistoria going all out with the animation for the fight. It's honestly like quite mediocre in terms of how high they can go. But like the stark contrast from what we just watched in Tower of God versus this. It's like, it's, it's crazy. Quote unquote mid Wistoria animation is blowing Tower of God out of the water. That's how fucking sad the state of affairs is right now. Holy shit, things are moving, man. At this rate, Wigdol might feel even more insecure about himself because Will is so great, but if he sees these injuries, is he gonna help us? Heal us, bro, come on. I'm not a fucking racist elf. He's a good guy. <laughs> Search magic. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Search! Uh-oh, that's even more scary. What? I never really questioned how monsters are, like, spawned in the dungeon. But, like, it's like a living thing. Just like Danmachi, huh? Oh, shit. It's literally, like, you can see, like, I don't know, these monster... Just like maybe about to become birth. Look at this shit. Boom. It's like moving. Oh, this is too intense. Oh! <laughs> it 
this is how babies are made. <laughs> this is how dungeon babies are made. Ew. Okay. This is not a regular monster. When I look at this, it, I, I, I thought Kaiju ate for a second. Like, holy shit, what kind of monster is this? Maybe not fast enough. Balkers. Shit. What are the, wait, wait, wait. Physical attacks don't do anything. And magic endurance? Like, what, what are you we're supposed to do? <laughs> what are the odds? You, you kidding? <laughs> the one thing right now that showed up, the thing it's weak to, is the elven illusion magic. Is there anyone that can use it right now? If only we had some elves with us, man, that could specialize in the illusion magic. I don't know who it could be. Yo, Wignall, come on, clutch up for us. You gotta do something, man. Watch his defective magic somehow be even more useful because it's defective against these things right now. Or maybe he'll figure out a way to overcome his defect and the illusion magic will become real. You're gonna give up, pussy? You're just gonna die? Come on, man. Backstory time. No? Look at that talk no jutsu. Alright. And you're going to find Eleanor. You're reaching his heart. Hey, man. Will just like hard carrying his ass, not only in terms of like. Defeating the enemies, but also giving him like the emotional support. Will is too good of a kid. Backstory? Look at that imagery, man. Will kept moving forward, head up high, for that goal, while Wignall gave up. That's the difference, man. I love this imagery. Yeah. Illusion magic! <laughs> Shit, we're cooked. Hey, come on! Don't give up! He's not giving up yet! Kiki! What? No, no, no. That, that, that. Okay, I thought Kiki... Did Kiki do something here? Because I thought Kiki used some sort of magic to defend it, or is this Will spinning his blade? This is Kiki, right? Yeah, yeah Kiki is orbiting glue, right? Yeah. Yeah. These elves suck. I have someone that believes in me. Oh my God. Yo, he's gonna forget about the elf queen at this rate. Rusty might have competition, bro. He only sees Will now. That's crazy. That's crazy. Everything is for Will now, man. Oh, there's the queen. Nah, that girl trash, bro. Fuck her, bro. Go for a will. Okay. So now, I I'm assuming that this is the illusion magic that has now turned real. She, like, it's actual tree logs that's wrecking these things. So it's, 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 it's been fixed. The defect is gone. Some Hashirama shit. Oh my god. Maybe this is in reference to the Kingswood stuff, the tree magic, but that's all it took, bro.
he just needed emotional support, someone to like be there and believe in him. Like, there's like nothing significant that he learned in terms of magic. It was a mental block because how cruel the elves were. This kid could have done this shit a long time ago. He's just, someone just needed to believe in him. But like, there, nothing changed in last episode to now in terms of magic competency. It's just a mental thing. Oh, wow, on one knee? I saw it. He saw it, right? The intro scene. We saw silhouette of Will's shadow. So he was watching it, training the entire time. Yeah. Also, Kiki Clutch. I don't know what the hell Kiki's thing, you know, this magic stone thing is, but it created some kind of barrier to prevent the fire magic stuff. That was pretty cool. Now, there's one thing I don't understand. There's this one thing that I just realized. How the fuck are these fire creatures taken out by tree stumps? Like, of all elemental things, like, you would think that this is the last thing, like, <laughs> I know they're weak to illusion magic, I get that, I understand that concept, but thematically, tree magic taking down fire is like, what the fuck? But hey, I don't care, everything is good! Let's go, first half, very strong first half. Alright, some lore, elves! What's all this natural-born magic race talk? People fawn all over him just because they can use more magic than mages. I already feel like this is from the perspective of a non-elf, maybe a dwarf. They may grow trees, but we cultivate the earth itself. Oh yeah, this is definitely dwarf talk. Just think about it a little and you'll see who's better, you moron. Ah, Gina, I'm sorry. I just had a little too much to drink, you see? Ah, <laughs> Donan, on a day he was drunk. Rude, Donan. True, Dona. I think that, like, clearly this is Wignall, right? This is the Eleanor, the Elf Queen. These two we actually saw during uh, the Magic Festival. They were in the sky talking about something. I forget exactly what, but I do remember these two. Wands. When picking one, it's best to think it's over, you know? They amplified your magic power. So the strength of your spells varies greatly depending on whether or not you have one. For mages... A wand is a weapon, which is like a natural extension of their limbs. To make a wand, you need to qualify as a first-class magic artificer. But I don't think I'll do that. There's someone I'd rather make <laughs> swords for instead. Rusty Noman. <laughs> Clearly. Oh, and he's your own blood, though? Okay. And Kiki. だから残りがさえあれば。みんな。どうかぶちでいて。水はないか。水は貴重だ。おい、それと消費できない。どうして。You drink your fucking ice. Melt this shit. What are you doing? There's water here, bro. How did you make the ice? This is a fucking solid form of liquid. Just drink that shit. おい、水はないか。水は貴重だ。you can melt it for him. Oh, he yeah, I, yeah, you knew that these two were not gonna get along. Like, Liana, Colette, Wignall, Will, like, they're kind of balance each other out. These two, they're just two bulls just butting heads. Wait, bro! Okay, Julius does respect Shion. I mean, Shion is formidable. Demons! Demons! Holy! Well, Cert got power crept. I still feel like that monster is not from 410 but got brought off from the lower floor. Damn, Shion is 
I don't know. It feels like Shion is beyond Julius at this point. He's just using him. Hey, bro, come on, clone boy. Make some clones for me. His fault. Living rent free in his head. Wait, these are the lackeys, right? Is this Shion's lackeys? I think it is. No. <laughs> the foot's coming down! Dude, is he actually gonna die? Edward! Edward! Yo, what the hell is this? Blood magic? This some... Usually, it's, he, he specializes dark magic shit. What the hell is this blood stuff? Oh, damn. Okay. All right. Sensei is so powerful. Oh? Some some glaze on you know our good teacher here too. Is it that impressive? Uh oh. Hmm? Kiki is a carbuncle. What is a carbuncle? A crystal on the head. Not 11? That was kind of cool though. Edward obviously is sick in saving the lackeys. But they were kind of glazing Mr. Workner too for like flying this dragon thing, you know, in, in, in here like this. So I don't know, it kind of hypes him up too, even though he doesn't really get much credit. They're leaving little traces like breadcrumbs, some Hansel and Gretel shit. <laughs> All right, we know exactly where we're coming from. Colette's just placing uh, earth magic shit here just to know where they're coming from. Liana, Damn, 16 hours. you better step up. Oh, it's not her fault. Nah, it's the pride of a Liana, bro. She just doesn't care. I mean, every, every, she's so harsh on herself. You can already see her worldview of like being ranked one at the school, but already thinking she's a failure. True. She was never part of the party. She just joined and I was like, oh yeah. He doesn't really have to join a party to hang out with us, true? Arigato. It's blooming? Okay. I hope that Will is following this, but what if someone else is, man? I don't know if this is a good idea to leave these traces. <laughs> who is it? <laughs> I don't know. Like, oh no. I don't know who's It could be faceless. It could be the headless guy, man. It could be like his friend. <laughs> Oh, Sion. Well, Julius is here too. Julius looks like he's having such a hard time, bro. But damn, dude, Sion, Sion is looking fucking sick lately. And Julius looks worse as the time goes on. Two year old baby Guguga magic. He's glad, right? 100%. Shion's glad. So you're alive. That's basically him saying, I'm so happy you're alive, but I can't say that to you because I'm so tsundere. This is good, bro. Who did Liana meet? The headless guy? No! Colette got baited. 
There's illusion magic. It's looking like Will probably, but Liana I think noticed something different. Liana, this. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. Oh, it's a sensei. Oh, I thought they were like doing illusion magic to look like Will or something to bait Colette, but Bruno, I don't remember you. Is he under control? I think he is. Headless? Oh, there's a lot of heads. Wait, this, this fucker literally was just playing around. <laughs> he, he, he was, I mean, he was already carrying another head on the other arm, but he was just fucking putting his head on. It's just playing around. <laughs> so, the Duke. The Duke must be the monster, right? From floor 10 that they kind of like destroyed the ground and we went down there, right? Duke. Who are you guys? Wait! Once Headless puts the head on, the face starts talking like the mouth is moving. Well, that's interesting. Also, his name is Mars, the blonde guy. Marze. What faction? Oh! What the? More theatrics? <laughs> Average villains. Huh. They want to bring down the barrier. Maybe there's like a cult. There's like a group of people who are pro-celestial host and wants the downfall of this world. And that's what they are. I'm not sure if, they're, if there's like spies from the celestial host faction that's been sent in to create this. Or if these are just delusional people, I think like bringing down the sky will somehow restore the former glory. Yeah. Yo, doomsday. No. Bye bye. Who is that? Who is that? The hero. And Wignall, everybody's here! Squad up! Okay, the stones did help. So let's kill... Faction? Bam! No incantation! Uh, way too fast for even Will! I do love... The whole voice acting without a head and these like creepy letters showing up. <laughs> Tangles, where? <laughs> Teachers are coming. The goods. <laughs> Monsters coming down again. The same one we saw on floor 10. <laughs> The Mage Queen secret transportation magic. What the hell? Why would Headless have that? <laughs> so, I guess the theory makes even more sense that this Duke monster is from a lower floor. And through the magic gates, which is supposed to be the Mage Queen's special technique, they brought it up. <laughs> Alright! Well, I mean, the enemies got away, and I think that is pretty much the episode, right? Wait, 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 Is there a bit more? Or was that just... Okay, okay, it, it was just fucking... <laughs> Next episode preview stuff, but 270 credits, man. Fad, it's kind of funny how <laughs> everyone's thinking about their fucking lives right now, and all Will thinks about is, damn, 270 credits? God damn, bro! Yeah. The uh, Cerberus one was not even that close. I forget the exact point number, but assuming it's 110, like this is more than double, man. And that's today's episode. I think Edward and Workner showing up here is what they mean by like, let's go grab the goods. Time's running out. I I'm not sure. It seems like it that is the case. I don't know what the goods are. 
I don't think the goods are simply just heads. I don't know exactly what they're collecting, but... They're out. I thought we'd be fighting them, but we got to fight Duke first. These dudes' are, goals are to bring down the barrier. Now, it could be just a delusional group of people that has no connections to the Celestial Host and is doing this because they think that Judgment Day will, like, send them to the Promised Land or some shit. Or they are just, like, spies that are sent from the Celestial Host side. I'm not sure, but this new Headless guy and Marze, their designs are cool. Their quirks are cool. I like them. And the connection with the Mage Queen's Secret Forbidden Gates. Wonder what that is about. Does that mean that their family? That Headless is somehow the Mage Queen's family and that's how they had the secret technique? I'm not sure, but the powers are pretty fucking crazy. Today's episode wrapped up Wignall and Will's two sides of the same coin character development where one person moved forward. There was a cool imagery as both of them as kids as, you know, Will continues to walk forward. But Wignall was despairing in the, in, uh, as a child. But at the end of the day, the reason Wignall was thrown out wasn't because of his lack of talent. Kind of. That lack of talent was simply solved by having someone believe in him. Because his illusion magic started to work as soon as there was someone that actually believed in him. There's a little bit more hints to when like Will was watching Wignall train. As we saw in the intro scene. So this is like a blossoming of a beautiful friendship. Another character that started off like ass that turned out pretty good for us. Kiki also came in clutch. There are some more interesting uh, mentality perspectives for, I guess, Liana and Wignall. Because, like, yeah, why is Wignall the only elf here? Because everyone else has already ascended, and that's why we're so mid and trash. So it's just like, huh, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Julius and Xion stuff was pretty cool. Julius is, is looking more of a joke character as the episodes go by, while Xion becomes more powerful and powerful. And this final battle against the Duke, I hope that we get the final kill. 270 credits. Senseis will show up just in time, take us home, and we'll call it a wrap. That's it from me. If you're still here, though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.